Hi, yet another follow-up video on this uh, Goal Zero Yeti battery, but this one isn't really about that. It's about this Rigol DL uh, 3021 electronic load here, and it's a rather interesting problem. Look at this. So I was just going to use this like to test the battery capacity because it's got a battery uh, mode on it where, you know, so you go and say it's got the regular constant current, constant voltage, constant resistance, constant power, everything else. But it's got a battery uh, test app which will give you uh, the amp and which will give you the amp hours and the watt hours as well. And you can set uh, like cutoff voltages and what constant current you want to test at. Right, very cool stuff, okay? So let's see what happens when I hook it up to my goal zero here. Okay, it's almost finished uh, charging the great Oh, there we go. So I switch on the 12 volt output and you can see that uh, the 12 volt output, you can actually see the 12 volt output, uh, the battery charging up here, right? Because this 12 volt output on the Goal Zero is basically direct, is basically connected directly across the battery. There's not a 12 volt regulator in there because this is a, what, a nominal 12.8 volt pack or whatever it um, said on it, right? So it should like charge up to that. It's currently 91% uh, there. It's charging at, um, you know, 70 watts or whatever. Um, and so it'll eventually um, get up to, you know, whatever the cutoff voltage of charge controller in there deems to be the maximum voltage, but let's just say 12.8 or something. So um, when you actually power stuff on here, it's acting like just like a car battery, really, because you've got the 12 volt cigarette lighter here, like your car, and that's con co connected directly across your car battery so it'll be like 13.8 volts when your alternator is running and you know and then when your car's off and you're powering something from it then it's just going to be the uh, 12 volts nominal 12 volts and then it's going to drop so I guess that's the idea there uh, rather than have a uh, regulator in there like a you know a um, sepic uh, like a, boot, a buck booster converter in there to actually um, do it anyway, right? So we can see, all right, we've got great resolution on here. We can see that, okay? Now I've got this set for one amp, okay? So we can actually switch this on. So it'll be one amp constant current and we can switch this on, okay? And it should be, and why it's drawing 0.1 amp, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I was able to actually get it to draw one amp. If I can set one again, like that, oh, it goes up to one amp. So what the heck, right? Right there, there's an issue with it, right? This is just crazy. Anyway, <laughs> so bug number one. Um, so it's now drawing an amp, okay? And, th and this is all hunky-dory. I was just, you know, experimenting with this before. Now watch what happens, I think, if I just um, simply switch it off here. If I switch it off, this has turned red and I, I can hear some like buzzing in there or, or something. Something's gone on. If I try and hit that again, green, it just goes instantly to red, right? And if I disconnect that, it's green. So it's like this thing is loading it down. And sure enough, watch this. If I get my ohmmeter here, whoop, oh, and I've turned on an electric field probe. There we go. Can you see that? Yes, you can. So what I'm going to do now is like is just measure the ohms directly across uh, right the input basically the input of this electronic load which is supposed to be off it is supposed to be off okay look it's like it's one point like it's one ohm like half an ohm it's shorted no wonder this thing like I thought oh there's something wrong with the goal zero battery it's you know it's chucking a wobbly or whatever no it was just protecting itself it's obviously got a resettable um overcurrent uh fuse limit in there and it was it was just just protecting itself for the bloody short circuit that this thing is presenting even though it's off it's literally off and there's a short circuit across the input there i mean you know i can i can probe directly across the inputs there we go, directly across the inputs. It's a dead short, a dead short. And the only way to fix this is to re is like literally to turn the power off, then on again, right? And because uh, this is not like a physical um, short, it's a like, a, you know, it's switched on a giant MOSFET. There you go, I got 28K now, it's fine. So there's like some big crowbar thing, either there's some big crowbar thing or it's deliberately like going into constant resistance mode and it's assuming, oh, well, see, it just went to zero ohms there, reverse connected. 
reverse connected. It thinks because I've got a little bit of voltage. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, that, that's probably my fault. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that um, because it was uh, thinking, because the ohmmeter is actually actually presenting a voltage across here. So yeah, it, it really didn't like that. And I've got it back to front or whatever, doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Reverse connected yet again. Okay, so we go, okay. So I'll swap the probes around and there you go. That's better, it's not gonna complain now. So, but you can see it's not shorted now. But if I do that, right, so I'll, I'll just do, let's just try this, I haven't tried it tried this yet. Look, I turned it on and it's a dead short. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, because we're in constant load, zero ohms, right? But let's, let's go to the battery app. It's still zero ohms, right? We're in the battery app. Off, off. It's a bloody short circuit across the input. What the hell's going on? Now, I do actually recall seeing this, like I thought, that you know, I was using this to load up something. I can't remember what it was. It was quite a long time ago. And that was probably the last time I've used it. And I thought, that's weird. I might, did I even do a video on it? I'm not sure, but anyway, like a, like a second channel video, maybe saying so, there's something weird going on here. But anyway, there's definitely something bloody weird with this DL3021. That is ridiculous. Now I, I know that if we go back to say constant current, right? And I'm not sure why, if we're in constant current mode, it's showing zero ohms anyway, right? I mean, that's just meh, like whatever, like, but it's like, it's shorting the output. Like if we go into constant resistance, constant resistance mode is currently set to two ohms down there, right? So I'm not sure what the, like, what the hell? What the hell? Your load, electronic load should not present a short circuit across the thing unless you have it in constant resistance mode and you set this to 0 0.000 ohms and you switch it on. Unbelievable. And um, yes, I've checked it's got the latest firmware. This is like 1.05 or whatever. Uh, and I checked it. it seemed to be the latest um, firmware. So what the heck? What the heck's going on? Anyway, if you've got one of these turds, then um, <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if yours does a similar behavior to that. Because I'm not sure if this thing's bloody got a fault or whether or not it's just, it's like, I can't believe that this would be like normal operation of this turd. I, I just cannot believe it. I don't get it. Anyway, thoughts and comments down below. Um, I think for these tests, I'm going to um, switch over to my old uh, BK Precision here. I think that's got a uh, battery uh, mode as well. So... Anyway, it's really annoying when you can't even trust your bloody test gear to, oh man, I'm just like, oh, I'm thinking about getting the wide lorizer out on this sucker. Catch you next time.